wanted to go ahead and propose an idea I had that I think I'm going to start for you guys. Um, today is July 6th at 3 a.m. It is a Thursday. And um, so Fairy Loop is offering special editions for the first four books in the Vampire Academy series in August. And I am tempted to buy them. So about over a decade ago, I read the series and I tore through it. So I figured before I spend that intense amount of money on special editions that I would go ahead and do a reread. So I have started that. I got the audiobook for book one, which is titled Vampire Academy. This is by Rochelle Mead. And I have been listening to it a while, so I'm about 12% in. Um, so what I remember about it is I remember Dimitri, and he was super hot. And I remember some fight on a bridge, some intense fight, not like underneath a bridge, like in the woods. And I remember some cabin in the winter that all the kids went to. Um, I'm kind of curious to see if this is now too young for me. Anyway, so it started off with our two main characters, um, Rose, who is a vampire, and she is a guardian to a, a Moroi vampire called Vasilia, Vasilia, which goes by Lisa. And they had escaped the school for two years and they've just been found by the guardians and Dimitri is there. Um, and so they're both forced back into school and they tell Rose, if you don't pass the tests, you cannot be her guardian. And the audiobook is annoying. They have what sounds like a really young voice actress doing it, um, which I think might bug me, um, and whenever, you know, because the guardians, the best guardians come from Russia, and so when they, when Dimitri is talking, she's using like an accent, and this might bug me, Ooh, my ear rejected that, um, I did not remember the names of the main characters, all I remembered was Dimitri. Um, and I know that later on there's a love interest for Lisa, but I guess we will go ahead and see. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to try the audiobook a little bit more, and if it gets too annoying, I will try and find it in an actual book from my library, which I doubt they carry it, because now I'm stuck with this shitty one. Anyway. Let's go. Let's see if I'm going to buy that special edition set. Come along with the journey. Hello, Vampire Academy vlog. It is Thursday, July 13th at 1245 AM. And yes, I have a fleece on again. But I have gotten to 43% of the first Vampire Academy. We are DNFing. We are DNFing this stuff. So, you know, the story is about Lisa and Rose. Lisa is a Morai, is a, is a vampire heir, a fancy vampire. She was born a vampire. Her parents were both vampires, so she's a born vampire, is a Morai. Then there are Dampires, which I think they're saying it with a D, which are... They are half Morai, half human. And that's what Rose is. She is Lisa's guardian. And then there are the bad vampires, which are humans that are turned, or Morai, that kill a person when they're feeding. And those are the evil vampires. Well, Lisa and Rose have run away for a couple years and they get picked back up by other guardians and taken back to the school. Um, 
Rose is going to get, you know, she's being threatened to be kicked out. And this other official guardian named Dimitri tells them that she could be worth it because her and Rose have a bond. I mean, Lisa and Rose have a bond, so the school allows her to stay. So we're basically living in the teenage high school lives and, um, you know, dealing with the political stuff of teenagers and that's all fine and well, but I am hands down not enjoying it. I am bored. Um, you know, I read this when I was pregnant with my youngest son, so that's at least, um, he's turning 12, so at least 11 years ago. And I loved it. Like I tore through all six books or whatever there is. And I was thinking, you know, since Fairy Lou has the first four Vampire Academy books being done on special edition, um, releasing in August for subscribers. So I was like, well, maybe I'll buy that, but I want to see if I still like it. And no, I did not like it. So main reason I'm DNFing is I'm bored. The second reason I am DNFing is because Rose and Dimitri. I know they're a couple. I know other things happen. And I did not remember that she is 17 in this first book. I think she's about to turn 18, but still she is, the way she speaks is very young. She's very naive. She's She's a typical teenage girl. And Dimitri, 24 years old, 24. He is a seasoned guardian. He has had a lot of life experience. He has lost a award. And I'm kind of grossed out, kind of grossed out. Um, I know that they have their struggles on you know, their age, if it's inappropriate, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, it's inappropriate. <laughs> and I am not a young woman anymore. I am not 25. This doesn't appeal to me. Um, so yeah, that was a quick vlog. I thought it was going to go a lot longer because I thought I was going to be reading all four books before August. But nope, 43% and we are done so. So, failed experiment, but I've got another one coming. <laughs> Let's see if we can get through anything, any reading series project that I'm going to keep. Later. Mm -hmm.